Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm Adam Lewis and you're watching Adam Lewis TV. Couple things I want to go through with you real quick, real short and sweet today. When we talk about AMC stock, when we talk about GameStop, when we talk about Sundial, we're all in the same grouping. Um, you know, this fraud that's been going on in the stock market has been going on for decades. And let's just jump right into it. A couple things I want to I want to make a, a pledge to you, and I hope you'll join me on this pledge, is I am stopping all regular news. I don't even watch CNN, but I'll never I'm not going to watch CNN. I'm not going to watch Fox. I'm not going to watch the regular local news because it's all smack. It's all crap. Let's talk about it. Come on in. Is easy to understand, and uh, but we go through all of this stuff, including the financial fraud in the stock markets. The 1929 crash was fraud, um, uh, basically selling counterfeit stock, uh, causing prices to crash, and then buying it back after they crashed, uh, so they could make a killing that way. Uh, those kinds of things are all explained in it. The tech crash is explained in terms of the way the Fed helped it to, to happen, but Wall Street made it happen in terms of uh, doing the fraudulent trading again, selling fake stock is called naked short selling now. Mm -hmm. uh, 2008 was done the same way with, with different uh, moving parts, we'll say, but all of that is explained in it. Now I'm gonna leave a link right in the description box below on that full interview. It's about 50 minutes. You must watch it. It explains a lot of things in history and it explains a lot of things that are going on today. It's to the point where you don't even know what to believe anymore, because if you watch the news, if you watch regular major news networks, which by the way are paid and owned by the people that are running the show. So whatever they want you to hear is what you're going to hear and they're going to brainwash you. That's why I'm making a pledge no more regular news for at least two weeks for me for for the next couple weeks and believe me it's been two days already and i feel so much more ah, you know so much no more bombardment with garbage i mean when you tell me that putting a mask on is going to stop a it's kind of like catching mosquitoes through a chain link fence makes no sense so having said that i'm done with the regular news for a couple of weeks what I'm going to do is start watching different broadcasters that are on social media like YouTube, like Russell Brand, like uh, Joe Rogan, like the people that the regular news is trying to squash. You get it? The people, you and me, are on social media. Russell Brand, uh, John Stewart, these kind of people. This is the kind of news I would encourage you to start listening to, and I'll leave links right at the bottom in the description box. So let's get into AMC, GameStop, Sundial. These are all short squeeze. Now this interview that I played a little portion of the end of it for you just now, you need to watch the whole thing. Uh, 1929, they set this up, stock market had a big crash, look what it did. 2008, they did the same stuff. He says with, with different players or different uh, uh, whatever, what they did was they packaged these subprime mortgages that were going to fail. They knew they were going to fail. They packaged them up into these little pretty packages and started selling them back and forth. And look what it did to the market in 2008. You know, we just barely recovered from that. And now what they're doing with Sundial, with AMC stock, with other meme stocks and GameStop. By the way, GameStop, from what I understand, hasn't even squeezed. They didn't cover the $400 per share price. Guess what? FOMO buying. And that's what you're going to see soon come with these others with Sundial and AMC. You're going to find more. When people start recognizing what's about to happen again, 1929, 2008, why are we letting these people get away with this? I'll never know. You know, most people just want to leave 
live normal, peaceful, happy lives. They got families. They got moms, dads, sisters, brothers, aunts, uncles, dogs, cats, freaking goldfish, maybe a ferret. People just want to live peacefully and enjoy life. And the people that we are supposedly electing are not allowing that to happen. I don't, I don't get it. But you make your own informed decision based on what you know. But I'm here to tell you, GameStop hasn't squozy, hasn't even come near it. It will. GameStop, AMC, Sundial, they're going to start mooning. Uh, they're going to create another market crash. That's what we're seeing. They couldn't do it with the, with the Rona. They tried. Believe me, they shut the world down for two years. Um, try to eliminate the middle class. But we're resolving. You know, we're, we're strong people, you know, around the world. We're strong people. We ain't going anywhere. And now they're doing it with this. Uh, and who knows what's really going on over there with the Ukraine-Russia deal. I don't know. I'm getting mixed reports. I'm thinking, who knows? It's really none of our business what's going on over there. The only thing that is our business is the Ukrainian people. My heart goes out for now. Trust me and believe me. My heart goes out for the Ukrainians. It's unbelievable what's happening. But short squeeze. It's going to happen. It's just a matter of time. we got to wait it out. These things take time. They can't escape paying us because they owe the short positions. Now, if I go out and buy, like I probably will, about $500 worth of AMC tomorrow, Monday, uh, what am I buying? I'm buying synthetics, right? Bring them. Bring the synthetics on. Because if they're in my account, when I go to hit that sell button, you got to pay me whatever that price is, synthetic or not. That's just the way it is. So I'm increasing my position a little bit. And it's Really, at, at the bottom line of all this, it's more principle than anything else. Because I want to spank those responsible in the ass as hard as possible. And if at the end of the day, Gary Ginsler and the DOJ comes out and starts putting charges on these guys, and I, I'm telling you right now, I told you before in other videos, I've worked in phone rooms before where there were business opportunity rooms. And I didn't know this at the time, but the company that I started working for, these guys were just opening and closing businesses first it was like a phone card business then another phone card business you know the phone cards i'm talking about where you can call mexico or overseas these guys were owning their own servers okay so when it said like x amount of pennies for 50 minutes of time they clocked you they charged you five dollars just to connect the call and your phone card was gone these were scams we didn't know it going into it, but these guys were opening and closing companies and the feds were on to them. They just couldn't catch up to them in time until the last company I worked at where they got raided. And I was not a closer. I was not an owner, obviously. I was just a guy in the location department trying to make the the promises that the closers were making to these poor, you know, poor souls uh, come true by locating their machines for them legitimately. These closers went to jail. They got arrested. The owners, and you know what they did? They started ratting on each other. <clears throat> they wore wires. They wore wires, and they started ratting on each other. Because you know why? These were guys that are in their 20s. They're, they're mid to late 20s, maybe early 30s. They had a couple kids, six and eight years old. And by the time they get out of federal prison, the kids would have been graduated college already. All right? So they were like, no, no, no. Instead of you doing 20 years, you're going to wear this wire. You're going to rat. You're going to help this guy. You're going to tell. You're going to talk about this deal that we're with this guy, and you're going to get him to confess on tape. And that's what they did. And that's what these little pansy ass college boys are going to start doing. You know, these these hedge fund cronies. They're going to start doing the same thing. You watch. You mark my words, because they're all a bunch of pussies. All right. When it comes down to it, poop or get off the pot. They don't want to do time. They don't want to do time. Their lives, their lives are little crystal ball lives. You know what I mean? Little silver spoons in their mouths. All right. They don't want to go do federal prison. You know what they, you know what they're faced up against? They're scared to death to do fed time. You know what kind of animals are in there just waiting on those little pretty boys? Trust me, they're going to be sort of diamond out on people left and right if the DOJ does their job. So DOJ, Gary Gensler, I don't know about the SEC. I think the SEC, they really can't do anything. They've been finding these guys for decades and collecting, what, 10% of the money? They can't even collect on these guys because by the time the SEC goes after these guys with the money, the market makers, the market makers are all lawyered up and they go ahead and sue the SEC. You know what I mean? It's a vicious cycle. It's got to stop. The DOJ's got to come in here. they got to go after the AMC scam. 
the GameStop scam, the freaking scams that have been happening for decades and put an end to it already. All right. Thank God for blockchain technology coming up in the future because this stuff won't be able to happen unless they find a workaround. But I doubt it because everything's digital. So, well, you know, Wall Street's working on analog, on books, dark pools, dark pool. I mean, really, you're going to you put my order in a dark pool. It just doesn't sound correct. The dark pool. Listen, good will always prevail over evil. We're going to get paid. I'm going to see you on the other end of this because we're going to have a good time with this. Once it's all settled, it's not going to happen overnight. These regulations in March 3rd and all this stuff, it's going to take some time to take effect. I think we're going to start seeing some nice numbers this week. Unless the, unless the market plummets, at which point when it does plummet, and if AMC should hit seven, eight, nine dollars a share and everybody's freaking out, that's when they start covering. That's when we start mooning. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Have a great Sunday. God bless you and your family.